Hi Praxis Math Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy, and in this video, we're gonna do a quick prologue to help you get jump started on your studies in October and November as you prepare for your Praxis Math exam. Let's get started, let's go. Okay, team, let's start with what is a prologue? A prologue, well, if it was a story, it would be a, a short opening. And it wouldn't directly be part of the story, but it would give important information to the reader, uh, maybe about how to approach the story. Well, in, in this case, uh, myself, Chris Abraham, the, the instructor, is just going to talk about some characteristics of this class, this 30-day Praxis Math class. And it's meant for teachers that are taking this in October, the second month of school. And I want to just throw out some ideas and talk to you now uh, to help you uh, um, get ready and, and, and just uh, put yourself in the right mindset to take the class, okay? Because if you're listening to me right now, you are taking the Praxis Math, right? The Praxis Math uh, 7813 and the 5008 right now at the start of fall in October, right? And you're going to be doing this all October, maybe even into early November. So this is for those group of teachers that are taking the class right now. So, so let's start. Let's start about this. Uh, let's talk about this, uh, the class, and uh, just reflect on what the class was. Uh, for, for a long time, it was just a two-day webinar. And recently, we changed it to a 30-day self-paced class. And I want to talk about why we did that. So this class has always been two days. Sometimes it's been a three day, but most of the time it's a two day. So we had to cram in a lot of information, eight hours of content into two days. And this sounds incredibly convenient. Get it done in two days. But, but what happened, a couple things happened during that time. One, it was very fast paced. And you had to cram in so much content, lesson after lesson after lesson, into the two days. And it was very, the live experience kind of faded after the first, you know, hour, because you're online for an hour, two, three, four. So it's, it's really hard to sustain the focus and mental acuity after hour number three or four, right? You're exhausted. And you only had five days to work through the content, which really isn't a lot after the class. So this structure, two day webinar, while it seems nice, okay? Um, it was challenging. And, and so what we're doing is we're taking all the feedback that we got from teachers and we're changing it into a 30-day self-paced class. So what does that mean? Well, it means we're doing the same content. We're actually able to fit in a little bit more because it's going to be extended now. Okay, uh, you, you're working with that packet. You're, it's still online. Those things are the same. But now we got a little bit more Okay, a little bit more content, a little bit more uh, guidance and commentary throughout the section. You have, uh, you have uh, it is self-paced as opposed to super fast pace. So what does that mean? It means that you get to do an hour a day or, or 30 minutes a day at your own pace. And you do not have to cram in four hours at a time, which means you can put your best foot forward for those 30 minutes or an hour a day and, and absorb as much as you can. You don't have to have it all at once. Imagine this is like a, a soup. It's a delicious soup. You want to savor the soup. You're going to take one spoon at a time, right? You're not going to grab the soup and, ah, right? <laughs> you know how to do that? So, so just do 30 minutes a day, an hour in a day, absorb it, enjoy it at your own pace. And it's flexible. You get to decide when you want to have that soup. Do you want to have it in the morning? Do you want to have it at night? Do you want to have it for lunch? You decide, but you're going to have time to figure out when it is best to, to take that soup. And, and you have a lot more time to enjoy it. All right. This class is filled with good stuff to help you pass your test. Lots of math content. You have 30 days to go through it. Okay. But remember, it's a 30 day soup. At the end of, if you come to this class at, at day 31, the soup is cold. It's over. And unfortunately, the class is done. So you got to have that. You got to go through this course in the 30 days while it's going on. Okay, team. 
All right, team. So this is why we moved to the 30 day format in thinking about this format here. Let's just touch upon a, a couple of key things here. You are going to be getting this a little bit early. I'm going to try and send this out to you on Thursday. And just remember, you're going to get it maybe on Thursday. So that would be for you, October 4th, hopefully, or maybe, maybe that's actually, I'm sorry, not October 4th. Your start date is October 10th, right? 7th, October 7th. This would be October 6th. So this would be October 5th. So hopefully you're going to get this on October 5th. Okay. You can start as soon as you get this video. As soon as you get that confirmation video with the packets, you can watch that video on how to start the class. But you can officially start on Thursday. And I want you to understand that, you know, if you were in a, if you were in a, if you had a pass, like get this thing done, you could get this done Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's throw in uh, Sunday. And Monday, in theory, you could get this thing done in not in five days. You know, you could get you know, two hours a day, you'd be done with the course in no time. Okay, but here's the thing: when should you test? Well, you have 30 days while this class is going on. Okay, so your your last day to watch this stuff is October. I'm sorry, November uh, 6th. So honestly, team, there should be no rush. You do not need to be the teacher that is the first one to test. That's not that that's not the goal here. You don't have to test early. You could take your time. Do you understand? But I think if you're taking this class now, I think you should set your test date. I think you should try and test maybe within the 30 days. Or how about this? The class ends on November 6th. Listen closely, team. This is for teachers taking it now, taking the class in October. I think you should set your date before Thanksgiving. So what would that mean? Let me just go here, here. Uh, let me write this out. Draw that down. Today, you're, let's say you're watching this on uh, October 7th, okay? And your class, we just said, you know, it, it ends in 30 days. That's, that's, the, that's the class cycle, 30 day. It's a, it's a 30 day class, right? You're doing this, doing all the things, very active, very active 30 days. It ends on November 6th. And I'm just throwing this out there to you that you should test probably sometime before Thanksgiving, okay? I think that would be the best idea while the material is to, still fresh. Now, of course, you could you could test a lot earlier. Some teachers will will want to be testing early and they'll be on the earlier end in October. Some teachers will be at the second half of October or in early November. But I think that Thanksgiving is probably that date that you want to test by. And that honestly, team, that's that's a good what is that like seven weeks? Almost seven, almost eight weeks, seven weeks. That's a pretty good studying cycle to do anything, okay? Um, because if you're if you're taking this after Thanksgiving, right? The class is ended on November sixth, and that's for everyone. Everyone, the class ends on November sixth, right? That's everyone. That's you, me, <laughs> yeah, you, okay? So if you're testing after Thanksgiving, then there's like there's a month between your the class ending and you testing. Um, that's not ideal. So. So October, late October, early November, before Thanksgiving, that would be the window of time uh, that I would recommend that you test. So that's how I'm answering this question here. And I hope you hear me on that. So if this is makes sense to you, uh, schedule a test date, okay? Before Thanksgiving. All right. Um, when you, uh, um, you're gonna get a, this packet here and it's gonna have this thing that looks like this. Uh, you can start as soon as you get this uh, the packet, okay, and this video. But remember, the official start date is here, and it ends here, and that's for everyone. There's going to be some color coding in your class that we're going to talk about in a little bit. But but basically, there's going to be blue, black, and red uh, a color coding that we'll talk about. You're going to want to watch all these for different reasons, um, and I'll explain which ones are the most important. You'll probably spend 90% of your time on the core class. But these other things, too, are, have a lot of helpful info. And so anything that's a, a black or a red video, you're going to want to watch. It's going to be helpful. And then uh, just keep these things in mind here. Like um, you know the start date. You can actually start now when you're watching this. Uh, you know that this you probably got this hopefully on Thursday. And uh, you know that uh, it's this whole class is going to end on, on the Monday, November 6th. And here's something I think you should remember. Um, if uh, if 
if watching those recordings is important to you or printing off your packet is important to you, all those things are important, right? You got to get this done by November 6. I know I kind of repeating that idea, but I want you to remember it. Okay. This is the last time I'll say it to you. You got to get this stuff done over the 30 days. So please do that T. All right. Print off your packet and, uh, and, and watch the stuff. Okay. Now, I said print off the packet, and I do want you to print off the packet because the packet is going to match up with this next slide. The packet is going to match up with each of the sections that are on the Praxis page, the Go Praxis page. And, and it's really helpful to have that packet uh, and, and be able to take notes on the packet as you go through each of these sections. Now, you're doing the prologue here, which is awesome. And you can check that one off, okay? And then there's also the intro, and you're going to watch that too immediately after you do this. Once you're done with this portion, you're going to watch the intro, and you hopefully will watch these things in red. So here's the color coding. The black is the narration. It's really important in my view. It sets you up for the next section. The red is sort of bonus ideas. There's stuff that, you know, like information on the test structure, how to, how to gauge your scores. There's stuff that I think is really important. It's not necessarily math, but it's more details about your exam. There's only a few videos like that for you, so I would watch those. But most of your energy, 90% of your time, is going to be on the videos that are in blue. And you're really, really, really going to want to have that hard copy of your packet. So I want you to print it off. Okay, print off that so that when you go through these sections on numbers, cents, and fractions, you have a hard copy. You can take notes on the hard copy. You know, before the pandemic, before we went to this online format, teachers would, we would provide the packet and teachers would travel hundreds of miles and stay at hotels and go to conferences to, to do the class. And now <laughs> you don't need to drive from, uh, let's say you're in North Carolina. You don't need to drive from Charlotte to Durham or, or Durham to Greensboro or wherever you are taking this uh, course. You don't need to do that. You don't need to stay at a hotel or any of that. You just need to um, get this thing done in 30 days and you can do it from home, but you got to print off your packet. That's the one thing that you do have to do. You should do. And so I, I recommend that you do that because when you press on these links and you open up into those problems, okay, I want you to have your packet handy so that you can match up the video with your packet. And, and, and I want you to be able to take two minutes and always read the packet problems first. So you read it first, read it, watch the video and take notes as you watch the video. You're gonna get so much more out of this. Do not do this class like Netflix. Do not watch the modules like you're having popcorn. Oh, the, 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 my best part, I love this thing. Don't do that. Don't do that. I want you to print off your packet, read it first, and then listen. And if you miss something, add on and take notes. Even though it's not live team, I get it. You're going to get a lot more out of each of the sections. And I'm very serious about the Netflix thing. Okay. Don't do this class like Netflix. Okay. This is a math class. It's meant for you to have a pad and pen, pen pad and pencil and work through problems. So you got to be getting your hands dirty with the math, okay? And I hope that makes sense. If it was anything else, you could just listen to it. But with math, you got to be reading it. You got to be solving it. You got to be crunching the numbers, okay? So make sure you print off your packet so that you can write down and take your notes and solve them, cross out answers that don't make sense. This will help you, okay? All right, so you heard my feedback there. All right, take two minutes, read the question, and print off your packet so you can do how you can approach each question, okay? Okay, uh, just a couple more things, and then I'll let you go and do your thing. Okay, uh, remember, this class is flexible. You uh, can do this at any time over the 30 days, okay? Uh, this, uh, you can wake up early and go for a run. You could do it late. You could do it in the middle of the day. You decide when you want to do it, but try and do a 30 minute run. Work with me for 30 minutes a day on this. Okay. I think that's a really good uh, study pattern. 30 minutes a day, 40 minutes a day, an hour a day. Give it a little bit every day. Okay. Remember that this is self-paced. So 
self pace is great, but you still need to run the race, right? Everyone here can, he can pass, she can pass, she can pass, he can pass. You all can cross the finish line, but the only way to cross the finish line, you don't need to be the first one to cross, but you do need to do the work to cross, right? Everyone here, okay, had to practice and study. You can't do this like God, like this guy didn't wake up and say, I'm going to run a marathon. I've got 24 hours to get ready. Or he, or he didn't say that or she didn't say that either, right? No, they, they had to make a plan. They had to train. They had to stretch out every day. They had to work at it every day, right? So if you're doing this class, approach it like you're running a marathon, okay? You got to do 30 minutes of training every day. And that 30 minutes, it's going to help build up the stamina to get ready for your actual test. So dedicate that 30 minutes to get in math shape. <laughs> yeah. So you're like, I did it. I hope you're hearing me on this. Okay, team. All right, uh, team. I want to wish you the best on your exams and in your studies over the next month. If you do have any questions, I want you to give Go Academy a call. Um, you, you can go through this fast. You can take your time, all right? You decide who you are here. Are you the, the tortoise or the hare? It doesn't matter. Uh, there's different reasons for doing different things. Everyone can work at their own pace here. I know you can work at your own pace, but get this thing done and do this in the next 30 days, okay? And please, please uh, keep me posted on how everything goes, okay? All right, uh, you're going to start the class now, and you're going to see another version of me, but I just want to wish you the best, and everyone have a wonderful, wonderful October. And I will, uh, I will talk to you soon. I'll talk to you later. All right, take care, team. Good luck, and I'll see you later. Take care, team. Bye-bye.